Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan. This is the under 55 kg World Championship Tournament at the Yogi National Stadium. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. We have a K1 under 60 kilogram fight. It's Koya Urabe versus Javier Fernandez from Spain. Javier uh, is, uh, was the champion, the 61 kg champion at its showtime over Europe um, versus. Uh, Rabe, who's currently at this point was the yeah. champion for the under 60 kg uh, tournament back in January of the same year. Interesting. Interesting that they have a 61 kilo class. Mm. In, in the, well, I wonder in the why. Time, right? yeah. Yeah. But he's actually got a fantastic record uh, 46 wins yeah. with 27 ways of knockout for that, heavier Hernandez. That's higher than, that's wow. That's like yeah. higher than 50%. Yeah. Half of his wins. And you know, Koya Urabe has 38 wins with mm. eight knockouts mm. and six defeats. Almost the same age as these two. Javier lost against uh, Koya's uh, brother, Hirotaka, uh, back in January of the same year. Interesting. Yeah, he was fighting the other Urabe. Okay. I gotta tell you that Javier, he is a strong kicker. Mm. Like, he's really putting weight into those kicks. Again, we've got this, uh, the classical, uh, you know, South Pole versus North Orthodox right yeah. But it didn't seem to be hindering Javier at all. Mm. So. Hey. I'm liking the way Kuehura um, was actually he's really consistent with like just tapping in with his jab, kind of making sure. sure that he knows where sure. he is. Mm. Like the distance is keeping him to make it easier to do stuff like this. And Javier slowed down a lot here in the last oh, 30 seconds. Ooh, wow, that was very cute. I that one. Now we're back to the heavier, I know. <laughs> yeah. I like the way he mixes it up with the body shots and everything, too. Mm -hmm. He's not just a headhunter. Oh! <laughs> Interesting first round for sure. There was a lot going on there. Udabe was really keeping his distance beautifully, controlling him with the jab and stuff like that. But uh, Javier's kicks? Yeah. Man, they was going all in there. What the original must be some of that now. The, the, oh, that was the front whoa. kick. Yeah, that went straight up straight there. Yeah. But then he counter low kicked yeah. straight away twice. Like, like before you could come back from it. Wow, there is. Yeah, yeah, no, he's in, I mean, clearly he's in fantastic shape, but he's yeah. also super economical with the mm. way he fights. Mm. So he doesn't really overexert himself. And that's what he gets away with because he's got that really nice jab that kind of keeps you know, his opponent where he wants him to be. He's very efficient, just enough. Oh, very efficient. Yeah. And also very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> wow, hey, we'll throw that into his round two. You know, he never really loses his calm. <laughs> Wow, strong low kick. Uh, yeah, exchange right here in the beginning of the second round. Well, more kicks from
Cool. I gotta say though, it really looks to me that there's a lot of influence in Javier Hernandez's fight style mm. from Roman Baker. You get what it is? It like you yeah. yeah. Oh. Taking very good control yeah. and lead of the fight here. Very good control. Okay, just, just, just flip. Just flip. And at the end of the day, that will look better in the judge's eyes, even if he doesn't knock it out. Wow. I don't think Ulema uh, Koyos' punches are very heavy. But it's just like the, the, the amount of punches that keeps him right where he wants him. You've got to give it to Javier though. He is really trying to like just locate the crap out of him. <laughs> right? Oof. Yeah. He's thrown that knee a couple of times. I mean, although Javier has been able to block it, it's still dangerous. But you see, constantly, you know, Ulebequoia is the guy who's instigating the fight, you know. He is leading the tempo yeah, of the whole yeah. fight. It's rare you see Javier start something first. But it's because he's on the back foot, you know, he's been pushed back the whole time. You see, he comes out, and then he phone kicks him and gets him back into where he wanted him. That was a great move. Oh, yeah. Round two ends with the Koya. I mean, I mean clearly you could see how mm. efficient uh, Uri Koya is with his punches and, and techniques, right? Because mm. he's not breathing hard. Mm. He's just like doing just enough. Yeah. As in Javier, you could see his breathing low and getting hard because, you know, his kicks, he was throwing so yeah. much energy into them. Wow. Yeah, but it's not damaging, you know what I mean? It just looks like he's much busier really controlling it, which he is, he is controlling this fight. That second round was definitely Koyas. And the judge is going to probably pick up on that, right? Like, with that, because Koyas is so busy, bring the fight to you know, this. Yeah, I mean, but some judges don't always also counter, and, and, and like, not counter, but they, uh, they judge on more low kicks, for example. So you'll see some judges going, oh, okay, that was a 10-9 for, um, for Hernandez because he had better low kicks. But at this point, Koya is leading the fight, in my opinion. Take a look at round three. <laughs> Great look at there to start off the third round. Oh, another one. Oh, front two. So sneaky. Um, I kind of feel like an enemy knows that he's a bit behind on points. Right. And that's why he's coming out really strong in this round. It's good for him, though. It's a good strategy. Yeah. Oh, you see? All those small punches that lead into one big. Hey, and then he just slides away from it. That is excellent craftsmanship. Again, he does it. <laughs> tap, 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 yeah. tap, tap, tap. Right? Then Constant. stick Constant. the hand out there. Constant. Yeah. Oh, big kick. Oh, nice combo counter, uh, counter there. <laughs> See? <laughs> you're not going to get tired doing that, but you're still controlling the fight. Yeah, yeah. It's actually it very, yeah. it's very smart. Oh, oh another front kick. 
I think actually to be able to keep to be so calm and like not get like sucked into like going in overdrive mm, mm. when you're fighting someone like heavier is quite incredibly uh, intelligent actually. Bro. Yeah, because I mean the way heavier is kicking like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. I mean <laughs> those are hard kicks. Yeah. But he's just sticking to his own pace and rhythm. See again, tap tap. Tap, From uh, how do you see what the judges think about that one? I would like to see a draw, but mm. I think Koya is going to win this one. Mm. Well, mate, what's what's the deciding factor there? Uh, because the third round, I think second round for Koya is third round for Hernandez. Mm. So it depends on how the first round was scored, which I felt was fairly even. Yeah, Javier does seem to have I don't know, more damage, but I don't know, maybe just that. I mean, I could be completely miscalling this one, and then it'll be like a 28, 20, 30 to, to Koya. Or even 27, they might not. It's hard to say. Oh, okay. Always the second one. He kept to his game plan, you know, he didn't get pushed around and just uh, pretty much does what he always does. Must be Arabe. And good looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Throw> that <in. laughs> he doesn't even look tired. <laughs> yeah. Job well done. It's a K1 under 60 kilogram fight. Kori uh, Arabe and Javier Hernandez. The winner standing there. Arabe, Kori Wonder why he wanted to wipe the sweat off. Yeah, I mean, it, it, maybe it looks better. The sweat know. looks good. I know, it's good. I was gonna say. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. For the K1 World Rugby 2015 Japan and the 55 KG World Championship Tournament, I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis.